Hello my darlings, it's so nice to have you back here for another vlog. Some of you don't like when I speak through the vlogs and some of you can't do without it. So you know what, today I'm gonna give a bit of both. I'm starting off my morning by making this gorgeous smoothie with some mixed berries, blueberries and I'm also gonna add some pineapple chunks for some sweetness as well as some almond milk. Gonna blend it until smooth and yes my darlings, a very easy smoothie just to kickstart my morning. Once my smoothie was ready, it should look something like this. It looks so yummy and it was just so tasty. I didn't need to add any sugar or anything. However, you can add honey or sugar. And I tasted it. It was just so, so good. In the meantime, I was making an egg mayo sandwich. So I started by toasting some bread. And my husband had already boiled some eggs that morning. So it's already cooled. I'm going to go ahead and just peel and chop up my eggs. Add some mayo. Add some black pepper. Keep it simple. And yeah, very, very easy egg mayo sandwich this morning. Once my sandwich was ready, I did top it off with some everything bagel seasoning. This is so yummy. I actually bought it from TK Maxx and I'm gonna cut into my sandwich. Look at how amazing. Just so, so tasty, like so good. Now the filling was enough to make more than one sandwich. So I ended up making a little bit more. But first, baby stopped by for a couple bites because I tend to give him a little bit of everything that I'm having. Just so you know, I can expand on baby's palate. But yeah, this was breakfast. This one was actually for my husband because I ate mine standing up. It was just so good. And yes, my darlings. I actually went driving lessons. And yeah, not before looking cute on my couch. Ooh, fresh face. Who that? <laughs> I woke up like this. <laughs> then I went ahead and I fed baby. Went driving, came back. And then it was just, yeah, a very sort of full on day for me today.
once i was done feeding baby his porridge i've been meaning to make a coconut roll for so long i've been thinking about it for so long i bought these two coconuts from tesco and i'm like yeah before they go bad let me make this coconut roll okay now i asked my husband to break me this coconut but he was doing something else and i got impatient so i broke it myself because yes I'm an island girl, I got skills, okay? So I broke both of my coconuts and by the time he came in, he was obviously wondering why I couldn't wait, but yeah, I hang out all that time, right? So once the coconut was broken, I <laughs> I went ahead and I grated it off, but I actually peeled off the skin using a peeler and I just wanted my coconut to be nice and white. So peeling off the skin is optional, okay? Once you take the coconut out of the shell, peeling it is optional but I just like the way it just grates so easily so yeah go ahead and grate it up and then we're gonna cook it Once all of my coconut was grated, it looks something like this, as you can see, nice and white, gorgeous. I'm gonna go ahead and just cover the top with some brown sugar. I think I must have used about half a cup to a cup of brown sugar. You want this to be nice and sweet, okay? This is the filling for the coconut roll. And I'm also gonna go ahead and add in some fresh cinnamon, as well as some powdered cinnamon. And yes, my darlings, another thing that I will add in this, which is obviously optional, is some food coloring some red food coloring in the caribbean well in saint lucia we like to keep it brown but um i tried it from a grenadian friend of ours it was really yummy it was uh, like red in the center and i'm like yeah i'm gonna try it like that gonna go ahead and tidy up as i go along and i'm gonna put this to boil okay put the heat on low you can add a little splash of water in there just to sort of get it going but as the sugar melts it's gonna create some liquid as well so yes darlings let it simmer on low heat for about maybe 15-20 minutes in the meantime i've got some warm water and i'm using my food processor to make the dough going in with about three cups of plain flour I'm gonna go in with some yeast as well and some sugar, pinch of salt, my yeast. I added just a little bit of yellow food coloring. This is optional, but I like when the dough looks nice and yellow and soft. So I added in my water gradually and I had a nice sticky dough. Then I just covered it back up in a corner for about an hour. And as you can see, it rose beautifully. So now I'm going to remove it from the food processor and I'm just going to knead it into a dough and then I'm going to section it off into two because we're going to be making two rolls okay. So what you want to do, roll it into two dough balls and then we're just going to roll it flat so that we can put the filling on. In the meantime make sure your oven is nice and preheated to 180 degrees celsius and yeah let's go ahead and roll this dough flat.
now that my dough is nice and flat my filling has already been cooled made it from since this morning and yes i'm gonna go ahead and place half of the filling onto the dough spread it out evenly not too close to the edges and then we're gonna roll it up okay very easy to do i'm gonna repeat the process for both and then i'm just gonna place it onto a baking tray that's lined with some baking paper and yeah this is literally a label of love i will admit but it's so good Once they're both done, I'm going to pop it into the oven to bake for about 18 minutes and I'm going to crack on with some dinner. The boys already had some leftover chicken and rice from the day before, so I'm just making something really quick for me, okay? I'm going to be making some tin corn meal with okra and some pilchards. This is something that my mom showed me how to do and I can't get enough. I absolutely love it. I think I have a recipe for it already on my channel, so I'm just going to be making this really, really quickly, but it's basically chopped okra with onions and peppers and you use cornmeal and it's pretty pretty simple and yeah i'm just gonna let you guys watch what i'm doing I was mixing in my cornmeal as you can see it's nice and smooth really nice texture i was somehow reminded of pounded yam obviously with pounded yam you don't add okra and all these other things in there but yeah let's work on our fish So I added in my onions and my garlic, I added my okras, peppers and everything in a little pot with some coconut oil. And here I've got my pilchers fish, you can use mackerel as well. I'm going to go ahead and open them up and then I'm going to remove that little soft bird on the inside. Some people don't do that, obviously it's optional, it's just something that I personally like to do. And yeah, you just go ahead, open it up, take off that bird and then I'm just going to go ahead and add it to the pot, add a little ketchup, add some black pepper, you can add some hot sauce sauce listen customize this but if you have any questions you can let me know down below in the comments
So I let this simmer for about 10 minutes and then my coconut roll was ready. I'm gonna let it cool but first let's have some dinner because I'm starving. So I put some of the cornmeal in a bowl and I just rolled it into a really nice bowl. Go ahead and add in some of that fish on the side, put some of the gravy on the top. Guys, this came out so beautiful and as you can see it's nice and hot. It may not look that appealing but oh my god it was just so good. So for our coconut roll, I'm gonna go ahead and slice it up and this was after dinner. It's really nice when you can have a little something something sweet after dinner and yeah, this was just really yummy. So I'm gonna slice it up and show you how a piece of it looks and yeah, I'm sure you're probably gonna wanna jump out of the screen to take a bite because this was just so yummy. Like wow, so good. So after guiltily enjoying this gorgeous coconut roll slice, it was about half seven and I was ready to throw in the towel because I was exhausted. I really hope you enjoyed the vlog. Lots of cooking today, not much of baby and other things, but some days it's like that, okay? So I really hope you enjoy the vlog. There'll be more coming, so I'll see you again in my next one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.